We got some great news for Rust today. AWS just announced that their Rust SDK is finally ready for production usage. This is a big deal for the Rust community and here's why. The AWS Software Development Kit or SDK is a set of libraries provided by AWS which enables developers to easily interact with AWS services in their code. That means if you're building your backend in Rust, you can use the AWS SDK to quickly build out features by leveraging AWS services. For example, you can use AWS Lambda to run code in response to HTTP requests, IMA for managing user authentication, DynamoDB for storing application data, and SNS to send notifications via text, push notifications, or email, among many other AWS services. However, until recently, the Rust SDK has been in developer preview mode, which means it wasn't ready for production use. But AWS has finally announced that the Rust SDK has graduated out of preview mode and is ready to be used in production code. This means companies can now use the Rust SDK with confidence, which should help us desperate Rust developers more easily make the case when we try to convince our coworkers to use Rust, and in turn lead to more rapid Rust adoption. This of course also means that we can confidently use the Rust SDK in our own Rust projects. In general, I'm excited to see Amazon taking steps towards fully supporting Rust, and hope this helps convert many more of my fellow JavaScript developers to the dark side. Personally, there are two other places I hope to see Rust supported. Firstly, I hope Amazon releases a cloud development kit in Rust, so that we can define and provision AWS cloud infrastructure directly in our Rust code. And I also hope they release a native Rust Lambda runtime, so you can run Rust code as Lambda functions. Today, it is possible to get around this limitation by using tools like Cargo Lambda, which allows you to easily build, test, and deploy AWS Lambda functions written in Rust. But I'd like to see a native Rust runtime so that there is more streamlined integration and long-term maintenance guarantees. Given how AWS has embraced Rust, I'm sure that we will see these gaps filled in the near future. Before you go, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet at letsgetrusty.com slash cheat sheet. Let me know if you plan on using the AWS Rust SDK in your next Rust project in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and remember to stay rusty.